people in the Lake Catherine area in New Orleans East have safety concerns after as they drive an extra 20 miles in some cases to get to the other side of the Chef Pass Bridge. As Robinson reports, a hit and run vessel knocked the bridge out earlier this month. It's a different world. Highway 90 in far eastern New Orleans is an oasis for those who appreciate camping. You come out here, you relax, you can do what you want. Nobody bothers you. The area was nearly wiped out after Katrina, but has steadily grown to about 300 camps. Put your crab traps out, you catch a few crabs, and, and, and you can't beat it. The people who live in the Lake Catherine area also call the island love the lifestyle. But that lifestyle changed after a marine vessel knocked out the Chef Pass Bridge, closing down a vital link in from New Orleans. Due to the nature of the damage, we had to shut the bridge down uh, out of an abundance of caution. The closure means a 20-mile bypass through Slidell for many in the area who need to get to camps or businesses on the eastern end of Highway 90. Three. I come here about at least twice a day. It's an extra 40 miles there and back from my house to here. Kayla Bolio says her business on the east side of the bridge near Fort Pike is down 30%. A lot of my customers live in Chalmette. You know, it, I, don't, I can't expect them to drive around. This 95-year-old bridge is a vital link for scores of residents who live in the Lake Catherine Venetian Isles area. And since it's been out, it's created some major inconvenience as well as life safety concerns. If we get any type of large fire or anything like that, it's going to take a while for New Orleans to be able to respond. The city of New Orleans has now entered into an agreement to bring in outside help. And St. Tammany uh, has agreed to provide uh, pumpers, ladder truck, uh, a tank truck, everything that we'll need in order to uh, respond to a fire as well as uh, EMS services. But that agreement is limited. I'm a little nervous. Um, so there is not a agreement with the police station. Residents worry about limited evacuation routes. We need a new bridge at West Pearl River. We need a new bridge at Chef Pass and plus all the other things that are going on. We really need to start putting money into some of these local uh, bridges and start opening up these routes again, especially if a storm comes. It's going to be bad. As for repairing the 95 year old Chef Pass bridge, state officials say they're working on contracts and hope to bring in heavy equipment next month. We're looking at the repair being completed sometime by latest at the middle of May. But long-term bridge improvements will take longer. And Scott Boyle with the Department of Transportation says that the Highway 90 Chef Pass Bridge needs to be replaced. He says highway officials are now trying to identify funding. Lee.